Hi, I'm George Anvin. And I'm Rich Kaiser. And we're coming to you live from the Las Vegas Strip. Hot Las Vegas. Oh, really hot, but nice. Before we head out to the airport, we want to share with you a story that happened yesterday to us. It actually happened to me. I'm in a t-shirt shop that also has a bar. And I'm buying a t-shirt for my son. I pick it out, I go to the cashier, she wraps it up and she says, can I get you anything else? Would you like a beer to go along with your t-shirt? A beer? Yeah, I'm thinking points. From a t-shirt shop? Yeah. I'm thinking points for creativity, beer, t-shirt, good and on sale. Give her points for that. Do they sell beer in the t-shirt? Yeah, they sell beer there. Okay. So she gives me the t-shirt, she gives me a receipt, and I'm standing there because she owes me three cents. She goes to wait on three other people. And I'm standing there, I'm thinking, do I make a big deal about the three cents or do I just leave? And then I thought about it and I thought, that ain't right. I want my money. So she looks at me and she says, is there anything else I can do for you? I said, yeah, you owe me three cents. I'd like my change. She goes, you want your three cents? I said, yes, I want my three cents. She goes to the cash register, takes it out, and I swear, she takes it and throws it at me across the bar. It's bouncing all over the place. And I'm thinking, honey, if the person who owns this place could see what you just did to me, you know, your front line is your bottom line. You do that to a customer, that's a bad thing. You do that to somebody that sends out videos to thousands of people, that's an even worse thing to do. I was going to say better, but that's not a word. Your front line is your bottom line, and your people are representative, representative of who you are, and she was not a very good one, at least at the end of the transaction. She was good to hear, and then it went downhill. Well, you know, sometimes it's looking at it not from the company's point of view, but from the customer's point. It's like getting in the customer's eyes and looking back and saying, what is it that the customers really expect? Yeah. In fact, it's sometimes an important exercise to make people role play and say, I'm a customer and you work for the company. This is really what I would want. You know, it's that old plus and zero factor. You know, plus is we give as much as we can to zeros. We don't expect anything back. But the whole point is, is it not to focus all of our talk about working with customers from our point of view. It should be from the customer's point of view. When is the last time, really, that we were in a training session where we took the time to say, let's focus from the customer forward, not from you forward, the customer. customer. Yeah, that's a good point. Because we're certain that you're not thinking, wow, do I really need to tell my people to give customers change if it's only a few pennies? Because you shouldn't have to do that, but maybe sometimes you do. And you know what, here's a really good exercise. When you're working with any one of your staff, say to them, what do you think the customer would want in this situation? You create an incident, what would they want in this situation? We'll guarantee you that what you would want them to do and what they say they think the customer wants are gonna be different things. And you better make sure that what they're thinking is what you really need to have happen for your own business. It is about the customers. All about the customer experience. And the experience in your store, if it's a good one, will put you head and shoulders above every competitor if you're just willing to do just a little bit more than everybody else. So George, you're right. The customer experience, that relationship is the bottom line to our business. Front line is the bottom line. And I'm George, and this is Rich, and we're coming to you from Las Vegas, and we're on our Ooh, way home. It's hot out here.